Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today I'm going to show you how to do a voting session in Mural, which is a whiteboard software application. So if you've used Mural before, you've probably noticed this icon up here, a voting session. What this is to do is to vote for things that are on the whiteboard. In this case, we have four shapes here that we're going to uh, vote on. Now, this framework, which the four shapes are sitting on, you can't vote for the actual framework. You can only vote for things within the framework. So that's something to bear in mind. So what happens here is we go here and we start a voting session. So we're going to have people pick their f three favorite shapes. Now, in this case, we already have three down here, but by, by default, it's, it's usually on one. So if you, you wanted them to pick their top favorite shape, you would only have one vote for each person. But in this case, we're going to pick our top three favorite. So I'm going to move the number up to three votes per person. Down here, you can say who can end the voting session. By default, it's the facilitators of the uh, meeting. You can put it to any member a mural can stop it if you want to. Uh, generally, you want a facilitator to stop that type of thing. Then we're going to go to next here, and uh, it tells you here how to vote on it. You basically uh, click on a card or an object to vote for it on the whiteboard. So we're going to begin voting. So the way we vote, as that instruction just said, is we click on the circle, for example, and it puts a one in a uh, pink circle up here. And that's the number of votes we voted on this. We can actually vote more than one uh, for any object. Uh, so if we vote two by mistake and we want one each on three objects, we can, uh, we can click on this and we can remove it like that. Or we can go shift and click it and it will remove it. So we'll vote on this one over here and we'll vote on the triangle over here. Now I'm going to go to another user that I have set up here and uh, I am going to uh, click on a couple of things. Now we can't see them on our screen yet because it's only showing our votes until the votes are tabulated. I'm going to uh, vote for three objects on this other account and then when, when we're done you'll see you have zero votes left and two people have already voted. So the votes are in for both the people that are in this particular voting session. So then then the facilitator ends the uh, voting and you can see that we got two votes each for triangle and square and only one votes for pentagon and one vote for circle. So we have the voting results here and it, it will save these voting results so that you can go back to them. If we go up here we can show the results page again. We can do multiple voting sessions th throughout the day or throughout a, uh, a uh, mural session that we're doing. We can also go here and go delete voting session. If we decide to redo this voting session because something went wrong, we can just delete it and, and start over again. So that's how you do a voting session in mural. I'm Dean and this has been Dino's Tech World and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.